Uh, Mike Stark is going to join us now. Uh, Mike is a citizen journalist, and he did something great. He went and tried to find Republican congressmen to talk to about their stance on the birthers. Uh, Mike, welcome to the Young Turks. Hey, thank you. I'm good, Thanks. man. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, Mike, before we talk to you, and I want to get the genesis of how this happened, right? Uh, sure. Let's show your video to the good people at home, because I think it was fantastic. So Great. here's Mike uh, chasing down some Republicans on Capitol Hill. Do you believe uh, Barack Obama was a natural-born citizen of the United States and he's constitutionally permitted to serve as president? You know, the courts have said so, and so I did. You do believe yeah. that? Thanks very much. What's well, I'm going to find out. <laughs> what do you believe, personally? I'd like to see the documents. So you're kind of afraid of your lunatic friend's base? Well, it's certainly being looked at. What do you personally believe, though? I mean, uh, do you think there's a question here? I think there are questions. We'll have to see. You do believe there are questions. That's good enough. Thanks very much. We're on the Hill asking Republicans if they uh, believe Barack Obama was born in the United States. It doesn't matter to you? But you swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. That's a question he needs to answer, not me. You can tell me what you think. You can tell me what you think. Do you think he was? Well, he was my U.S. Senator, so he said he was, so I believe he was. I don't know who this congressman is, but it looks like he's uh, absolutely running away from answering any questions about where Barack Obama was born and whether or not he's constitutionally authorized to uh, serve as president of the United States. He's pretending to look at pens. If we're in America and we are free and we allow people to, to say we, when the people stand on the sidewalk and this gentleman gets to show his, uh, you know, his... Can we pan over? He, he gets to, to stand for what he believes in and, and the way that he, he decides to because we're American. Born in Mombasa, so, Kenya. See, there we go. So, in, in, uh, in, Sorry, in America... Man, so I, there are, that wasn't planned, you know that. So my point is, though... Hey, Congressman, how are you? My name's Mike Stark. I'm with uh, Huffington Post and Fire Dog Lake. What's your name? <laughs> well, you were able to say you're out of breath. You can tell me your name in your district, right? Are you Democrat or Republican? I'll raise it. Is this as fast as you can go? You look like you're in pretty good shape for an older guy. I'm the scum of the earth. And nothing to talk about. Not, not to Republicans. Because what I want, I, I do today. Let me ask you. Uh, do you believe Barack Obama was born in the United States? Is he constitutionally permitted to serve as president of the United States? I'm focused on health. You're focused on health care. You can't give a yes or no. Well, do you, do you have some evidence that he is or isn't? And that's the Chris, question. Chris, Chris, Chris Matthews held up his uh, held up his birth certificate on hardball the other night. Well, obviously the Constitution speaks for itself, and those requirements need to be met, and that will be up to others to look into that. So you won't say whether or not you believe he was born in the I'll, United I'll States? Say we have requirements uh, for that, and that's up for others to determine it. There was a process that was gone through. And I think the process was... You refuse to say what you believe. I just told you what I believe. Actually, I believe Barack Obama hey, was Brent? born in Hawaii. Brent. Take care, buddy. In the United States. He was born States. in Hawaii. When Hawaii was a state in the United States and therefore is a constitutionally natural-born uh, citizen of this country. That's the clearest expression from the Republican I've heard. It seems like all your friends are really well, I'll be, I'll be quite honest. I'll be quite honest with you. I'll be quite honest with you. That when the information came to us to put that in question, there was a lot of very fascinating information to put that in question. My office did some in-depth research, and we found birth records in the newspapers in Hawaii that couldn't possibly that's right. have been forged. Exactly. So that's newspaper that's my perspective. That you can't go back and rewrite those. So. That is my perspective. Now, let me say to you, probably there's very few Republicans in the House that are more disappointed in Barack Obama for his position on promoting abortion on demand and for standing by and letting jihad gain traction in the world and for doing things to undermine our Constitution and for turning us into a socialist nation. That being said, he is a citizen of the United States of America. I'll tell you what, Congressman, because you gave me a frank, upfront answer, 
I'm going to include everything you just said. This, this will go up on next. All right. Thanks Thank very, you much. very much. God bless. Take care. Oh, Mike, man, what you got from Tom Price and Tim Murphy was goddamn priceless, man. When Tom Price started running, how ecstatic were you that this fool was literally running away from you? It actually took me back to my Marine Corps days in the PT, jogging alongside with him. I've been hitting the gym lately, so I was prepared for it. I was pretty happy to do it. Um, I really wish he would have raced yeah. me. But that guy there was actually a uh, minic from Idaho. Uh, Price was the guy running up the stairs. And, and you know, that reaction has been incredibly common. People just don't like cameras in their face. They don't like the media. And uh, it's, it's unfortunate because the media fulfills a crucial constitutional role as the fourth estate. And these people are supposed to be held accountable. Uh, is, the political is... likes to tell us stories about fighting amongst Democrats, but there are policy stories and there are, there are other stories to be told up here, too. You know, as I saw them running, I thought of the old uh, saying that uh, my ex-Jamaican girlfriend used to say, or she's my ex-girlfriend, still Jamaican. <laughs> she told the story of an uncle who'd come and yell, whoever wants to stay, 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 whoever wants to run, 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 run. Man, they see the cameras and they run, 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 run. That, I mean, I find that stunning that they can't talk to the media and, and give straight answers. I can't believe grown-ass men who are United States congressmen literally run away from you as they're muttering under their breath that you're the scum of the earth. Uh, Jank, I've got another one that uh, I see frequently up here. Every time he sees me, he puts his iPod buds in and starts bopping along as he walks. I'll have some for that uh, relatively soon. I have to identify the guy first. No, but that, you know, as I watched this video, Mike, though, I thought, you know what? The, pr the so-called mainstream press is not doing their job nearly well enough if they're not running away from them. That, like when they see the mainstream press, they they sit there and they're like, oh great, let's get interviewed. Because there isn't going to be any tough questions. When they see you and, and some of the others that are from the internet, uh, or, or credible blogs like Huffington Post, Fire Dog Lake, etc., they run for the hills. And that guy, hey, Tim Murphy, sitting there looking at pencils for 20 minutes. How did that get resolved? That was awesome. How did it get resolved? How, did you finally leave? Did he finally leave? What happened? I had a meeting with another uh, congressman, uh, so I ended up having to leave. And I assume he left thereafter. Okay. But it was funny because the way it works is you're allowed to film in the hallways here in the office buildings, but you're not allowed to go in any of the rooms. So we had him trapped in there. He had no place to go, and he just waited us out. I saw him again today, and he pulled out his phone, got on the phone, ignored us, turned around, went back into the building through security, take the tunnel over the Capitol. They'd call a vote. So, I mean, he's still doing his best to ignore us. So I've got that film queued up and ready to go to. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll give them a little bit of advice here. The best way to go is not to run for the hills, or in this case, literally, run for the hill, uh, but to do the call block, as you pointed out. That's the best, you know, they'll pretend to be on the phone. Sorry, like, I can't talk right now. Yeah, right. exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So now, uh, Mike, here's a, the other thing that I'm curious about. How did uh, how did you wind up spotting these guys? Uh, were you just hanging out by the Capitol, and then you see the congressman walk in, and you think, oh, that's Thaddeus McCotter, let me go get him. Yeah, that's exactly what goes on. There's uh, three House office buildings uh, on one side of the Capitol. On the other side of the Capitol are the Senate office buildings. Jane Hanser uh, hired me to come up and ask Democrats questions about health care. Democrats, well, Congressmen in general identify themselves because they have a little uh, lapel pin that allows them to skip the security process. They've got special doors they can go through and just walk right through. Uh, I see the lapel pin and, you know, ask them their name and their district, and those that are willing to tell me, I'll talk to them a little bit more. If they aren't willing to tell me, I just let them know that, you know, we'll send this video of you drawing a paycheck and a pension and health care back to the uh, newspapers and blogs in your district, and, you know, people can figure out for themselves whether or not they want a representative that refuses to answer any questions at all from the American people. Yeah, I mean, this isn't going to their house. This isn't, if this is a congressman going to Congress, this is exactly what the press is supposed to do. They're supposed to ask some questions on the issues, whether it's health care or this crazy birther movement. Uh, and by the way, McCotter says, oh, I'm working on health care. I'm too busy for that. Uh, instead, today, he introduced re uh, a resolution to condemn Obama
for saying the Cambridge Police Department acted stupidly in arresting Professor Gates inside his own house. So I haven't seen. I haven't seen him today, but I've got that question queued up and ready to go for when I do see him. <laughs> All right. So are you on a stakeout right now? Are you by the Capitol? And, and if these guys I'm actually come... sitting in a phone booth in one of the House office buildings. They just uh, finished voting, and everyone's gone home for the night. I think the Democrats went back into caucus, so I'm about to go home for the night. Uh, Mike, are you there every day? Every day. And so you're going and you're asking these congressmen on these issues, and what has been the general reaction? Do... Uh, Democrats and Republicans differ. Do the Democrats stay and talk more, or do they run also? How's it been on that? Generally point? speaking, generally speaking, uh, the Democrats will talk to you about health care and they'll let you know where they where they stand. There has been a few Democrats, and again, I think it has to do with the new media and what happens when they go back to the districts and all these uh, tea baggers try to film them with their little uh, thumb cameras or whatever. There's a natural apprehension that washes over them when they first see this camera stuck in their face when it's unplanned. But once I've introduced myself and let them know where I'm from and what I'm asking about, Democrats are generally willing to open up and let me know uh, where they stand on health care. Republicans um, are far less likely to uh, take questions. I think what's happened also is that, you know, the landscape's changed for them. So they Twitter each other. I know a letter was sent around by, of all people, the Progressive Caucus, Saying that I was up here asking questions about health care and people should be prepared. Um, I'm not sure if that was a warning or if it was a, uh, you know, advice. Be ready to answer questions on health care. Um, but I imagine that, you know, Republicans are emailing each other and letting them know that there's a thorn in their saddle that, uh, you know, they may want to ignore or otherwise. Well, Mike, uh, finally, is there, did you get a sense, I mean, look, Aaron Schlock seemed to say, yes, he is a citizen. Trent Franks clearly said he was a citizen. Uh, of the Republicans that you talked to, what was your sense of what percentage if either evaded the question or said, well, I'm not really sure if he is or is not a citizen? Well, I'll tell you what a difference a day makes. I just talked to a whole bunch of Republicans today, and I think I had two or three that unequivocally said, um, absolutely, he's a citizen. I think even one of them said, you know, these people that leave otherwise are absolutely crazy. Um, that didn't happen last week. I think the article on the Politico today and the uh, blow up on the net, and I believe this was on Hardball earlier tonight too. I think words getting around that these folks need to start marginalizing their uh, Looney Tunes space. The problem is that's all they have left. I mean, what's the Republican popularity rating? 30 percent or 27 percent? And they're all teabaggers. They're all nuts. So you know they are in a hard spot, but the country will be much better off, I think. If we start having responsible people in Congress, you know, say a nut's a nut and uh, get on with the business of governing instead of pandering to these Looney Tunes. Mike, uh, where can uh, people find all these videos that you've uh, shot? Fire Dog Lake is the best place to go. There's a whole series of me talking to Democrats on health care, and uh, there will be a few more uh, Republican videos as well. All right, FireDogLake.com. Mike Stark, uh, thanks for joining us on the Young Turks again. We appreciate it. Take care, Jake. Thanks for having me. Uh, no problem. Thanks for coming on.